Let's talk about the smash, the overhead, guys. Such an overlooked shot, and many players don't work on the shot enough, and, and it's, it's so important. Um, uh, we overlook it because we don't get as many as the other shots, but then what happens is under pressure, when we need it, we end up missing it. So I'm gonna give you three tips to give you a, and help you with a better overhead, and if you focus on these three tips, your overhead will be better immediately. First things first, guys, like many, for most of the tennis shots, everything happens and everything starts with the feet. Feet, feet are the foundation of a good shot and of a good overhead. First thing I want you to focus on is having enough steps. You do not want to plant yourself too early. What many players do is they, they see the ball in the air and then they wait for it. And then they don't know why they're missing, but they're, they're missing because they're planting and then the ball is in a different position than what they thought especially when the wind's blowing, but even if the wind's not blowing, that's what happens. So you wanna be moving underneath that ball, dancing, setting yourself up, and only when you're very sure when the ball's a little bit closer, that's when you plant yourself. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple with the slinger ball machine in, in real life, so you see what I'm talking about. But before I do that, guys, please support me and help me by subscribing to the channel and liking this video, that would really help me. So I'll show you what happens if I don't plant if I don't move my feet if I don't do enough steps then the timing is out you'll see me doing a lot of frames as well it's like that one is behind me plant too early plant too early then it's in front now look what happens if I give enough steps enough step shuffle 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 hit shuffle shuffle hit that I'm giving enough steps and then smashing. Shuffle, shuffle, enough steps, and then smash. If you don't give enough steps, then you're setting yourself up for big trouble on the smash. One more. I must say, for those of you who've tried it before, the slinger, because it's got so much topspin, it's not easy on the smash. But that's the first step, guys. Don't plant yourself too early. Tip number two, uh, I see this so often, especially with intermediate players. They don't turn their shoulders, okay? So they're facing the ball like this. What happens if you face the ball like this is that ball can come too close to you, you can't time it, and then you start messing, you start framing it, okay? You gotta get left shoulder, left arm across, and you wanna try and see that ball over your left shoulder. So it looks something like that. Let me show you. So if, so I'm, if I'm facing the ball, square square on like this it's going to be so hard notice my left arm is open now anything can happen I'm getting a cup that's what that happens often when you open now i check when i look over my left shoulder it's a lot easier to smash that ball. look over your left shoulder look over your left shoulder then you have an automatic turn Left shoulder. Don't forget, look over your left shoulder. And then lastly, guys, my personal favorite, the smash is the one shot that you actually can hit down a little bit. Even on the serve, ground strokes, volleys, there's a, there's a factor of hitting up, but the smash is the one that you can snap down. So what I always tell my players is, you wanna keep your chin up, that's gonna help you not to frame the ball. It's gonna help you to have a good contact point. But as you keep your chin up, keeping your head up like Roger Federer, you can actually snap your wrist quite a bit. Snap your wrist quite a bit. That's gonna give you a lot more bounce on the smash, a lot more accuracy and angle. Too many players, what they do is they swing with the whole arm on the smash, and you end up framing a lot, no timing. So this is what happens if I swing with my whole arm and I bring my head down. It's very, very hard to have a stable smash you can't really snap down. It just makes everything hard when you swing with the arm and your head's coming down. What you want to do is, geez, that was a good lob. Put my head up and snap my wrist on top. There. So notice how I'm keeping my head up afterwards, but I'm snapping my wrist down. Also applying the previous two rules that I gave you. Snap the wrist. Head up, snap the wrist. Head up. Snap the wrist. And I'll give you one more. There. Apply those three principles in your smash and your smash will be better immediately. 
And if you wanna uh, join that with brilliant volleys, I can show you exactly how to have the best volleys you've ever had. Just check out this video.